All right, guys, you all ready? Ready. Yeah. It's morphin' time. All right. <laughs> oh, I think I botched it. Hang on, let's do it again. All right. Car. Car. And we thought my screw up was bad. We practiced this. Damn, I knew I was close. Three years behind, buddy. Um, um, that went exactly as planned. Uh, Cue the roll call. We are live. Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster, Super Ichi! Loud and Impulsive! Pinkcaster, Lay! Illuminating the Tokuverse! Yellowcaster, Follow Road! One little spark of courage! Dreamcaster, Global South Perka! The Trickster of Infinite Topics! Um, uh, Savagecaster, Ivara Fox! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air! <laughs> I actually got to cue the roll call! You did it! I Caster's got... ability! <laughs> I was all like, should I do the bit perfectly or should I totally screw it up? I'm gonna pick totally screw it up. <laughs> right. Was I allowed to do that? How about sure. this? I'm the one who hit give me back my son. That's the icon. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Stranger, episode 260. I didn't even have to look at the oh, What's this? What are you doing? I don't know. My phone started doing things. Smash it! Thanks, you. All right, <laughs> now we're going to get copyright strike. All right, what about this one? Bleep that. I am actually shocked the battery still working. That's the Deep Spectre icon. It's episode Swampert. Um, damn it. Oh. Damn it. Please beat me. <laughs> I love Swampert. Please finally did it. Hooray. All right. Now I think I got it. That, that's a full bottle. Two years behind, Gar. Uh, have you checked the expiry date on that formula? Um, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, what are you doing? I'm just gonna. Uh? We don't talk about that show anymore. Get. <laughs> you lost. made me mad. Now I need a pop. Sorry, am I actually allowed to do? Uh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go anything? back in my corner. Yes, you're allowed to do the roll call. I feel like away. I shouldn't have done that, but I did, wasn't sure how the how the. The joke, the joke was supposed to end, and I think I screwed it. We wing it! I think yeah. I screwed it. Wait, I mean we... Wait. It! Night! Winging it on Disney. <laughs> Winging it is the... <laughs> okay. Yes! I'm, I'm gonna be nailing these topics like a... <laughs> Sorry, like a... Like a garlic? We got Zero One Bullet. stuff. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna... Gar... <laughs> Give me my money! <laughs> okay, welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. We are a bunch of Toronto-based tokusatsu enthusiasts who get together every week to talk about Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and a third tokusatsu topic of that differs every week. And that uh, is it, our caster's ability. Ooh. I don't really think I have any abilities. Man, with all that stuff that we do, we don't have time to do dishes. Itchy. I do the dishes. What are we gonna do? <laughs> we don't have time to do the dishes, Itchy. Is there a solution? All right, fine. Skip. I'll, I'll go do the damn dishes. No, God, get the fuck out. No, we're skipping them. Make sure to check in the description of every Cast Ranger episode for a promotional code for Skip the Dishes. Just the fuck down, Gar. If you use our code for your first order on your, rice, you bitch. on your account, you get seven dollars off your order, and we also get seven dollars. So help feed the Cast Rangers. Ah! Wait, you got food? This is really chaotic. If someone uses the damn coupon. I've been starving for the last few weeks. Blazy hashtag feed gar. Blazy coon. Why haven't you used our code yet? Make sure you also give us hashtag comments for lame. Yeah, I'm hungry. Also, go watch Ultra Ranger. The, the, the recent episode isn't out yet, but go watch Ultra Ranger. <laughs> Just sit on the channel's la latest videos page and hit F5 a lot. <laughs> no, no, sit on our latest episode and hit F5 a lot. Also, we're at 485 subscribers? Yeah. We're going to hit the five to pay respects. Uh, in other news, <laughs> uh, A.G. Subaraya with a giant Mothra. Cool. Wait, where? In uh, Gar's book. In the book that I'm holding right now. But yes, today we are talking about Kamen Rider Zero One, Episode 2, 
Kishu Sentai Ryu Soldier, episode three. Episode three? Oh, sorry, episode... <laughs> I am... Episode Gar, 25! Okay, okay, Gar, keep, you're ahead of your time. Keep in mind, on Ultra Angel, we talk about the same episode for each show. I, that would be nice if we could do that here, but we yeah. can't. Uh, Ryu Soldier Thanks to Decade! We're on episode 25 of Ryu Soldier? Yes, 25. And for our feature topic, in memory of the great Robert Axelrod, we were going to talk about Voice Lugger, but... Let's talk about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers three parter, the wedding, the zedding, the zedding, uh, <laughs> or or how Rita met Zeddy. How Rita got her groove back <laughs> again, again. The Zed Purrs new groove. The Zed, the Lord Zed's new groove. The Zed wedding. I don't even know. Oh, the Zed, Zed, Zed wedding. wedding is good. Winner, loser. <laughs> Winner, loser. I don't even know I'm the, Hey baby, I have a Z-ache. <laughs> <laughs> I got such a Z-ache! Okay. If I knew how to defeat the Power Rangers, you think I'd be listening to this? <laughs> I got a for you! <laughs> Alright, let's get into Zero One! It's time for my favorite thing! A shot to the peen. Makes an enemy less mean. (laughs) (laughs) It's the Vulcan episode. I had to. (laughs) Oh boy. It's the debut of Dick Belt Gun. Yes. And he's fucking awesome. Carter Vulcan is so fucking badass. (laughs) Something is shooting and it's not shooting. Wait, okay. I have to get into, I have to get into Isamu here quickly. I, like, Gross. the two episodes that I've already seen <laughs> of this man. You've killed Emily already, Multi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That was one hell of a... <laughs> Emily, Emily laughing is, like, one of the fucking greatest things I'm in life. I'm sorry. <laughs> Something is shooting, and it's not... Shooting wall. Stop shooting wall. <laughs> ah! Um, no, but seriously, so, so, Isamu, like, the two episodes I've seen him in already, like, this guy has already impressed me. His, I, I will say his impulsiveness is inspiring to me. <laughs> yeah, that's right, kids. Fuck authority. First episode, he's just like, fuck it, grabbing the gun that we need to actually defeat these fuckers. And then, the man... Like, the pro- shooting wolf progress key is locked. He, like, earlier in the episode, he, he cannot open fucking it open it. And he just goes, fuck all that, and wills with all of his might, f- fucking face and everything, just going like, rrr, rrr, and he just fucking wills it open. All I, I could think was him breaking it apart and just being like, well, crap, what do I do I was now? expecting something to snap when he opened it, because if you look close when he opens it, it doesn't look like it's held in that hard. I, I like to put him transforming in the show and then cue Thor from Endgame. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, and it's just, this guy's so cool and like, he has such a, he has such a tragic backstory. Like, he was in Daybreak Town when like, it got like, attacked by a bunch of uh, like, rogue human gears and like, he was, he was a little kid, he was in school, all of his other classmates are fucking dead around him in the classroom and just, he gets a chased by show. a bunch of human gears that weirdly look like they're pro- apes. They're prototypes. Yeah, but they look like monkeys. I think that's bad. Weird. I once got trapped in uh, Lavender Town. <laughs> yeah. Um, but and- honestly, his backstory smacks of weirdly Kaiza. Mm. It reminds me of him in the Ryusei Juku school and all that. And like. I just, like, I love the guy's, like, determination. Like, he's just so, like, I'm gonna uncover what he then did to, like, cover up this, like, thing where they said it was an accident, but we know, like, it was their fault these things got unleashed in the first place. Whoa. And, and, and here's whoa, the... Whoa, whoa. He's Brian Cranston's character from Godzilla. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here's the thing. <laughs> One thing that really didn't get brought up is Fua is, like, being all up Arto's ass with his fucking investigation, but no one's... Oh. No, no one has brought up the fact to Fua that Hiden Aruto has only been president for one fucking day. I don't think he cares. It's like you're the president at now. Least, this is your problem. At least it would explain why he doesn't know about any of the shit he's talking about. Well, here's okay. the thing. Okay, just because he, he he could have been told he's the new president, 
He probably doesn't know that he was a fucking comedian. He probably thinks that he was like some other guy in the company. Also, that's why I'm saying they should have brought it up. He can't really go to the former president about his issues because, you know, he's dead. Vice president. He's not. He's he's not going to do shit. That's beside the point. The man's trying so fucking hard. All I'm saying is blame the right person. He's not Mr. Right. He's Mr. Right now. Well, he wrote me into this. Well, he wrote me into this. Well, he so wrote me into this. this. I was actually, I was actually chatting because I saw like Blaze and like all of them in the in the general chat uh, or like the regulars chat about like the relationship between Yua and uh, Isamu, and like, like they're they were all, we're all arguing over like who's actually in charge of who. And no, it's no, like, they, it's they like, very it's clearly like, establish it. Fua is technically the captain of Ames, but Yua Yaiba is the in charge of their equipment. So they are both leaders like in, one just, in can't a sense. can't do anything without the other. That. Like they depend on each other. Well, I'm sure Yua Yaiba could sh- still kick ass without Fu. Well, I mean, when she's about to when in episode 3 of... comes up, we're going to fucking see Valkyrie. I can't wait. Yeah. Yuya does. That Fu don't. Ichi, put, <laughs> put in the picture of uh Comrade Valkyrie profile. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my God, what did they do? Yeah, so there was a meme I saw on Facebook earlier. Oh my god. Valkyrie profile, yeah, yeah but you yeah. are. <laughs> that's, that's great. It will be engraved upon your soul! Dash! Rushing blast! Divine assault! Nibelung Velesti! <laughs> I love that. Um, and just, yeah, and, like, we'll get we'll get to Vulcan Tenshin later, like, Vulcan's debut later, but just, like, I, I already love this man. This is, like, my character. I've decided to invest my time into the show. And like he, I don't know, he has like some Kaito vibes from him too from oh, time. So no, no. wait, wait, I got a better joke. Okay. So so it's uh, it's a Family Guy joke where you just put Yui and Fuwa in the same position. They're arguing with each other. Uh, someone comes in. Uh, kids, kids, kids. You're both so terrible. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Yeah, that was that bitch. Not she's a bitch. Sorry. I don't know if she's Master a bitch. Sorry, Rider Girl, Thousand. Sorry that it's not Scan. The two T's look like an H, so it's Thousy. 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 Also, if you listen to Extra Extra, I did pick up the DX Aim Shot Riser and the Shooting Wolf and Rushing Cheetah. And I got case. the Zero One Driver. Um, I. I love this little gun to death. It's freaking awesome, and like it has like the loudest gun noise I've ever heard on a Toku toy. Like, listen to this thing. It's fucking loud. I will make sure never to use this thing late at night or early in the morning. Yeah, you don't want to be shooting it's off. You want to be like, Gar, wake up! Yeah. Hey, Gar, you <laughs> want to see my new chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Ranger. Hey, Gar, you want to see my new aim shot riser? But it's Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. You're the one that has to tell me to do Ultra Ranger. <laughs> Dude, I'm always ready when you're ready. Gar, go get me Timmy's before we record. <laughs> well, that helps me function better. Oh, good. We're having a lover spat live on the air. Okay, so... Go watch Kaiju Sentai Ultra Ranger out now. Whichever episode's out. Yeah. We're close to our episode 100. They're all good, except for one. That <laughs> Which one? You'll have to find out. Which one? Listen Tell me. To them all. Um, so pretty much... I, I liked this episode a lot just because I felt like a lot was set up in this episode about, like... <laughs> like setting characters, like what each character's drive and purpose is, and like uh, it, w- it was really interesting. So I, okay, what made him spit milk out of his nose? A lot of things happened in that last <laughs> two minutes. Yes, Dream Vegas, please tell us what made you uh, milk rise. Milk rise, juice rise. <laughs> Guys, I'm rising. I gotta first. say though, if I may uh, talk for a second, I don't give a shit about Vulcan. I don't give a shit about the plot. I give a shit about that bike fight. Oh, that Holy was cool. Holy shit. That was cool. That bike fight. See how great... Now, you, you see how great that bike fight was? And we'll never see one Probably of never. <laughs> but also, I just love... They hit a meme. They they put an Akira bike slide. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. It was uh, just... Like, I remember seeing them, like... You can tell it's green screen, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, you want to see my toy gun? Uh, anyway, but uh, yeah, that but and I know that you see the platform in yep. one of the shots. But let me put okay, you know why I'm gonna forgive that? Like completely forgive. I watched that fight 
seven times, including two extra times showing it to people who were like, what the fuck is the show you're showing me? <laughs> Um, yeah, and I didn't notice the, the platform. Yeah, me either. So I only noticed is, it after someone pointed yeah. it out. And once you see it, you can't. You know what? See it. They're allowed three more fuck ups as long as there are bike shots. Like literally, like I will forgive three more problems as long as they keep having bike fights. They even did a Kuga go down the fucking stairs shot. That was great. Also, that fucking henshin. Not like the. You know, no, like it, I admit, the uh, Vulcan one was pretty cool. But it was nothing oh. compared to Zero One's fucking, like... The, the, the second st- one, right? The second one where he's in the atrium yeah. and the hopper's, like, yeah. shattering all the glass. To myself, that was fucking awesome! It's a good thing you own that building. Because right? <laughs> somebody's got to replace How many more times is the hopper going to crash through something? I don't know how Aruto's actor does it, but just the look he has when he's henching into Zero One it's is like, so fucking badass. It's like, like Jim from The Office. Just, something just switches on in his brain where he's just like, alright, I can fuck like, uh, like he, he, you know he, what it he is? authorizes you, the key you know what and it then is? you just see the satellite beam go down and he's just like fucking ready. You know what it is? What? He's the CEO and it's business time. Oh. I love that picture. Business, 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 business. Yeah, business. it took me a couple watches I but I understand the I understand the pun he was making in, in this episode. So he, the first thing he says in his line is Kagayake, which is the word for shine. And then the last word he says is the Japanese word shine. Uh, okay, well, I'll quickly mention this too. So one of the, my favorite parts of this episode is, like, the first time Arto does his, like, joke, you see, like, Isamu just sitting there. And you just see him, like, shaking his fist. And, like, at first you, th- you think, oh, my God, he, like, wants He's to so st- angry. He wants to strangle Arto because of his fucking stupid jokes. But then at the end, when he's doing like his press conference, he does the joke again, and you can clearly see that Isamu's doing everything in his fucking willpower not to burst out in laughter because he and loves then he his leaves. jokes. And then he just leaves. So it's great that like Isamu being the character he is, he just loves stupid comedy like that. Especially I, Arto's I comedy. I am genuinely surprised that we have a character who's leaning this hard into being an absolute... Like, resp- like, responsibility shirking, authority fucking dickbag. But then we find out he's got a weakness for really shitty puns. Well, you know what? That's the thing. Like, sometimes <laughs> the toughest people can like, like, the stupidest shit. It's a surprising amount of depth to, for a character's introductory episode. Like a, like a stereotype is like, you know, like a biker from like a biker gang. Like, he's yeah. this big, tough-looking dude. But deep down, he like, loves soap operas. He like, loves he's like, cats. He's like, he oh, loves, I love them. He loves cats. Like, he loves cats. But, uh... Finding out that Isamu loves uh, Aruto's stupid pun jokes, you will absolutely know that the way Aruto is going to blow his identity to Vulcan is by chiming off one of his jokes and then during Vulcan a battle, cracks up. Yeah. and Vulcan's going to crack up laughing and then go, "Wait, that was the, the, he said." I want, I want him cracking up in the suit. Oh, that'd be great. No, wait. What if Vulcan has a laughing eye uniform? <laughs> I need his ability. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Just laugh! <laughs> oh, no, I want a progress key. That's great. It's laughing Aina. Oh my god. That's great. Final form confirmed. Um, but I think we can all agree that, like, well, for me personally, like, other than Connor Vulcan being, like, the best thing in this fucking episode, I think we can all say the MVP, true MVP of this uh, episode was fucking Mamoru, the security guy. Oh my god, he was the goodest the, good boy! So, so good at his job, like, the fucking, the, the singularity, the shit. yeah, the singularity that came in to, like, fuck up shit in the lobby. Well, the, the name of the, the monster, the name of the type of monster are the Magia. Yeah. The singularity is just what they refer to as the fact that the AIs develop free will. Yeah, but just fucking as soon as he comes in just starting shit, Mama is just on him and just like just fucking, fucking puts him down in the hole and he's just like, he's like, y- y- you, I'm asking you to leave this premises immediately. You're and under arrest, like, yeah! fuck on. You know one thing that I'm wondering, you know, like when his first henshin, he henshins like in that fucking hallway. Yeah. Did he just fuck up like half that fucking building with the, the grasshopper coming down? Because they kind of just show him, like, just, you know... Yeah, quick one. that's what I was saying earlier. I'm like, how many times is Hopper going to come crashing through the ceiling of stuff? Like, I mean, like, how much fucking damage does, like, they get come through the fucking skylight? 
you know, like they're wrecking, like, you know, like the, the bike comes through the goddamn parking garage. Put it on the And then goddamn parts. Vulcan shoots through, like, what, six shipping containers? Yeah. I mean, like, Chris is like, oh, you know what it's going to be? Like, uh, your Toku guy is going to be like, I'm sorry, Itchy, your new stuff didn't come in. Some fucking asshole shot through the <laughs> container. <laughs> your your goddamn melted it. Well, that's the good thing that's that. That's why you didn't get your. <laughs> that's why I didn't get my Mirai Trevor. That, that's why it's a good thing that they're in, that they're a company that builds robots so they can just have the robots clean everything. Yeah, they can build. Build a robot to fix it. Yeah. You know what it is? It's a, it's, it's, it's a socialist plot to keep the people who fix shit in work. <laughs> we need the we need we need people to fix the robots. It, it, it reminds me of that one episode of Clone High where everyone's like, "Oh, littering's bad," but then when they, when they stop littering, the janitors are out of job, and then they're like, "I guess littering is good in moderation." But like, Mamoru's is so sweet because like. When when he gets when he's being like uh, getting like the the force riser on or whatever like that it's so sad because like he's like oh you want to destroy me and he's like no I my job is to protect people and I'm just like yeah your job is to protect people you must feel, use French instructions I feel so bad for him I can't lose another Mamoru we no, just did because, Amazon like, he gets injured like in the first attack and then like later just. Like, Arto goes up and gives him, like, a handkerchief to, like, cover up his injury. Which like, you can now buy! Yeah, and he's, like, <laughs> and he just, he says, like, awesome job, like, keep up the good work, and just, you see, like, Barber just be, like, wow, the president just, like, thanked me for this is a like, fucking doing a show job. where it's, like, a minor character gets a little bit of backstory, like, they're dead. Yeah. And I mean, then just, and I then, mean, he's a robot, and then he Izu, then died, and, and then came back, Yeah, and so. then Izu gives us, like, the reality of, of just being, like, yeah, no, once they've become that, you can't change, you him, can't back. change him back, he has, he has to be destroyed. Which, of course, means that later they will develop a way to do that. If you die in the game, you die for real. The question is, That's when they brought Mamoru back, What's the difference? Um, <laughs> was that his memories in a new one? No, no that, I think it was just they were... They didn't really talk about it, but, like, it's... I, I think we can safely assume that since he was, like, in the building, he was, like, connected to their Wi-Fi and got backed up and then put in a new body. That's what I'm going to head like, I saw that happen, like, that there was a new one. I thought was, he like, was, like, he was thinking about him and saw him, oh, but God, he wasn't really Vegas. there. Tell me really likes carry, killing That's people. what I was saying. I'm like, I don't want to lose another Mamoru. No, yeah, so here's the thing. Mamoru actually means protect. So yeah, that's, that's the joke. He though. protect. But he like, get cut. He get turned into monster. But, like, I, I didn't, like... It didn't click in with me. Like, I saw him, I was like, oh my god, Mamoru's, like, back. And I'm like, oh, right, they make robots. He protect, he attack, and he, he die and, and come back. So, like, if Izu, if Izu gets fucking scrapped, then, like, they can oh, just god. build another Izu. But, oh, like, god, it won't be the same Izu. By the way, I noticed in an early shot of Izu, they showed the back of her head in one in the early shot. She's got, like, really subtle green highlights in her hair behind the black, if yeah. you look close. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh, my freaking goodness. What? The writer... I just realized the writer's doing the same thing he did in X8. Yeah. The concept of death is meaningless. <laughs> oh yeah, because they're robots. <laughs> robots it's it's robots. Connor! Mommer is Connor! I'm surprised... The robot sent by Hedon! This might be when, uh, you know, the power uh, Haim Sabin buys Common Rider again. Because it's like, oh wait, they're all robots? That means we can kill them! Wake up, Arto! <laughs> it's me, Mommer! <laughs> I guess no one gave it as much of a shit about Taro to rebuild him. And he was just a delivery boy. He just shot his abs out of people. That was it. <laughs> we can oh, build oh, another oh, ab robot. Oh, Taro. Eh, yeah, fuck him. <laughs> wow. No. You, you, you know what I feel like with the whole property damage thing? I can see it being like in a uh, well, lane. Hmm? Who, who was who was like the head of the company in Small Soldiers? The guy that played Gwen Stacy's dad? That was Dennis Leary. I know yeah, what you're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Dennis Leary's walking around just handing out checks to people being like, <laughs> I, 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 shut your goddamn mouth. Here's the money to replace it. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> How about this? You get your goddamn car out of here that looks like a fucking news van and make sure no one sees this. Got it? Good. You know, best, yes, sir. Speaking of that, remind me of the best meme that I've seen all week. Was like it was a clip, and it says like Marvel says the door is closed to Spider Man agreement, and then it has Toby Ward going. It's like fix that damn door. Yeah. Also, <laughs> also, also, when Mamoru was like, Gazarto was like trying to get into just, the building. Just, just, building. just real quick, oh. since Gar was talking about small soldiers, my immediate the place my brain immediately went to. You put military chips in belts. <laughs> <laughs> you put munitions chips in belts. <laughs> No, you made a gun a belt? 
You know what? You made a belt of guns? Zero and driver. No, Everything you. else is just a toy. <laughs> Everything else is just a belt. You made a rider machine out of a DeLorean? <laughs> Everything else. Fuck, now I want there to be a Back to the Future style uh, common Rider drive. After, after the progress key is authorized, thinking... you're going to see some real heavy shit. I'm still, I'm just thinking about that old Nerf commercial with that psychotic kid. Everyone else is just a target. Organization X. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Also, I want this to be a recurring thing in every fucking episode of Zero One from here on in. But when Ma, uh, like Arto was trying to get into the building, he was like denied access because I guess like he wasn't properly put into the system yet. Yeah, it's only been a day. But uh, Mamaru scans him, and he's just like, huh, he's just staring at me. And we get... This fucking face, <laughs> and now I just want a collection of just Arto faces from, Every the, view, week, from the view of a human gear. Every week, up. a different robot scans his face. What the fuck is that? Looks like Furbus had an offspring. Jesus Christ! Emily was saying she's in love with this thing. Also, apparently, Hi, Emily Emily noticed on Arto's desks that like he had like robots. Man, oh, Jesus, yes. the, yeah, the God the Jesus, the infamous God Jesus robot. Is that where that's from? Yes. I know nothing about them. This is also, the elf- God. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, I like that. Like, Arto immediately had like a new like name for his new nameplate for like, his desk, which he probably just three D printed that because he has a three D printer in his office, which he then glomped like it was a long and lost then it lover. Actually, turns into this. Oh my! Ah! Okay, that's less scary. It actually changes from. Yeah. But yes, so like Aruto discovers his his office, which is it's absolutely like the live action the zero one pit. It's the zero one pit, and it looks like the ghost pit and the build pit and I every other pit. I apologize for the interruption. I just found out about that it was just revealed today, and it's really freaking. Amazing. That's fine. It, it, there, and and then Aruto proceeds to rub himself on everything he now owns. Well, well I mean, it's exciting, right? Sure. Hey, hey, nice three D printer. Bye now. What do you want? I am willing to bet that every power-up he ever develops is printed printer? from that 3D printer. Yeah. Since they made the belt. That, that, oh, machi- that machine uh, reminds me. I, I, I got a picture of this for Gar. Oh. Oh, it's a bootleg Max Xenon uh, Victory Lancer. Let, click on it for a second. Let's see Let's see if you can identify what, what, what it is. Well, okay, so you got the Victory Lancer in there. It's got some sort of knockoff freaking zone fighter thing. What's an orc warrior, apparently? <laughs> orc warrior. Orc warrior! <laughs> Ultra orc. Z- zero hat. Shit! Zero One of these years for your time. birthday, Chris, I'm just going to buy you a shit ton of this stuff <laughs> and just, just hand it to you and be well, like... Well, we welcome bootleg like, shit sure. here. Cash drink. I got another one. I was going to find But it. no, that, that giant 3D printer reminded me way too much of the bottle purifier. From yeah, Bell. Like, that's why Jesus. I said it looks like the build pit. I, I'm not a huge fan of... What we can, what what will be our uh, like home base? Yeah, yeah. Like our main base for this series. What else have this? I think it's just it's it's too dull in color. It's just it's all white. Well, well, it's, it's his office. It is a it is a business office. So it's like it, is this next year's Sentai Galactic Warriors? <laughs> C- come on, Toei, you use every single office, like you use the same office for almost every single other series. This one. Oh, I'm no. actually glad they no. didn't use that office. I'm glad. We've seen it too many times recently. Maybe they'll 3D print a new office. Um, but uh, and so obviously, <laughs> obviously, obviously, that. obviously when Wait, uh, that's it. The 3D printer just fixes everything in the city. When Arto when not? Arto transforms into Zero One the first time, like in this episode, uh, Izu automatically just goes, "Yeah, make sure you don't let anyone know who the fuck you are. Like, especially Ames. Don't let Ames know that you're Zero One." <laughs> it's really interesting that for in, for the first time in a while, we have a common rider who actually has to hide their identity. Now, so, if, so now he gets happened? in a car. He gets in a car, and then he's rolling to the window. I'm common rider Zero One. <laughs> what was that? Common rider Zero One. Everyone knows but you. <laughs> <laughs> just all right. Whatever, whatever you do, whatever you do, President. Do not tell anyone your secret. What's wrong? Uh, checks Twitter. <laughs> Trending. Oh, OMG, that's funny. Guys, I, lead. No, no. OMG, guys, I flew like 100 feet into the air with a new <laughs> suit. OMG, guys, I just killed a human gear. Isn't that cool or what? YOLO. Here's hey, guys, here's... I want you guys to know I'm Carverter01. Everyone's like, who? <laughs> hey, guys, I, do, I got a new nickname. Zero one. Isn't that cool or what? I don't even know who you are. So here's a point that may or may not become a worry in the next couple of episodes. Uh, it's episode two, and we don't have the opening. Uh, 
I think we'll see it next this episode. Next I'm gonna week. wait until episode four before I start officially worrying. I I was gonna say like we haven't seen it yet just because it's like when X Day when they didn't do the opening for like a few episodes. It's just because we had that extra minute yeah, screen yeah, time. Yeah, but X Day did it bullshittily. Bullshittily. <laughs> you, you just spayed out that sentence bullshittily. <sighs> The gun is not a toy. Are you okay? Yeah, I just got shot. Uh, Sorry, I put him in this and this. I don't know why that killed me. Because <laughs> I said so bluntly. Yeah, uh, so, obvi- so uh, obviously... Oh, oh. All right, uh, like I was saying, oh. um, opening-wise, probably won't get until, like, episode five. Once every writer is fully introduced into the That's show, why I'm saying episode four. That, that way, you know, the o- you know how sometimes the opening spoils shit? Uh, yeah. That's so, what I was so, thinking. So let's not spoil anything for right now. Unless Toei legit just gave up on an opening visual. So, of course, no, of course, Isamu, Isamu and Yua, they, like, also during their fight against the, the first, uh... What do they call it? The Magia. Magia. Get it? Because uh, Hugh Magia. They're, like, they have, like, dodging skills, like, fucking mad. Well, before we, get to, before we get to the fight, so the, Ames comes to investigate Hiden yeah. about the whole incident, mm. and we confirm that they are, in fact, a government operation, not a privatized military, like, like I I'll suspected. I'll shut you right down. Yeah, they're part of the government, so I'm like, yay! Careful what you say, or I'll arrest your ass. I'll, con- I'll ride or kick your whole career. Yeah. My, my dad's a cop, my mom's a lawyer. You touch me, I'm freaking throwing you in jail. That's not how the law works. My uncle works for Nintendo. Wait, your uncle works for Nintendo? Does he work for my dad? <laughs> uh, yeah, so while they're being investigated, we get the first of a surprising two Monsters of the Week this week. Yeah, that was cool. We got a rat and a bird. Well, I'll get into what they are. So the first, was a bat. the first one is the, the Kun Magia, and apparently it is from the Kuno Succus, an extinct reptile that lived in the late Triassic period. Oh, interesting. Man, somebody's wikiing like their ass off for this show. Yep. Well, we use it. There's, there's, there's extinct life forms are being used. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, the well, other there's one... a new extinct life form every day, so they can't run out. <laughs> and then uh, the other one that uh, Mama returns into later is the Ekal Magia, which is from the Ekalta Data, an extinct kangaroo that lived in the late... Oligocene to Miocene epoch. Wait, it wasn't a rat? Right? It looked like a muskrat or something, but according to, according to the wiki... I think, that, I think that's the... Uh, the, I, the, the I think that's the kangaroo that Bulk and Skull it, uh, ex- interacted with. <laughs> it's an extinct genus of marsupial. How you said genus? Oh, related to the modern musky rat kangaroo. So it's a muskrat kangaroo hybrid of oh, some sort? Okay. Um, Man, they did some fucking research. But yeah, they're done. Again, they've been wikiing. I bet there's a Simosuchus one. That would be cool. But yeah, I, lo- I love just the way freaking like their uh, teamwork was because like uh, freaking Isam was trying so hard to like open the program key because it's locked unless you uh, authorizes him to Author- be able to use he wasn't it. Authorized. So he's busy trying to do that, and then Yua just like fucking kicks him out of the way, and they like dodge the, the attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah, it was. It was super badass how the Kun Magia had fucking throwable wing swords. Yeah, it was awesome. I, I imagine it's like the lizard plumage or whatever the fuck. We all we also learned a bit more about uh, Arto's past, like where his where his robot daddy died and protecting him. Yeah, there, it's probably all related to the same daybreak incident. Mm-hmm. And it, as we can see, it involves blue fire. So whenever we start seeing something that spits blue fire, it's going to be related. Yeah, so a fart. Sure. Somebody farted and set it on fire. That's uh, that's how the town. Somebody went blew fire. Yep. From their butt. So like then later on, I I love this one moment where just like both Isamu and like Aruto are both like encountering like uh, the Magias or whatever like that. And so it's great that like they're both kind of yin and yang. So like Aruto's like sees the human gears as like you know oh they're they're kind you know they're here to protect us and stuff like that while. Isamu is all about like no they're they're killer machines we need to destroy all of them. Well yeah because they tried to fucking kill you as a kid. I think <laughs> I think I think if something came to I think if something came to you like wanting to legit kill you 
Then yeah, but, I that, but guard, that's like saying like, it. oh, you got attacked a, 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 like by a dog as a kid, and then just you immediately think, oh, all dogs are bad. The that old dogs me. will attack me. That was me for like twenty years. That happens to a lot of people. Mm. Yeah, 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 it does. I had my face torn off by a dog when I was a small child. Oh. I don't think that it's a good thing to have that standard, but it's definitely something. That well, I've had to have. learn uh, how to trust uh, dogs uh, again. Like me, I hate birds because freaking a bird attacked <laughs> me when I was a child. Yeah, fuck owls. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck why, owls. Why owls? Because they're cat killers. I can tell you a story that would make you cry. Um, oh, give me back my cat! The kitten that got kidnapped, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, by the way, I called something last week. I made a joke last week about the Humagears, or the three laws safe. Mm-hmm. Yep. As you know, the Isaac Asimov three rows of robotics. What's her name? The robotics... Uh, Izu. Izu. She made a joke of that would violate the first law. Yeah, she quoted... She, they were quoting the laws of robotics. Yeah, I like so that. Like, I like that even Common Rider is, like, subscribes to Asimovian uh, third rules. I think that's yeah. just a universal thing. Um, oh, yeah, even if they're written down, good catch. Yep. Again, there's a joke that today in the, uh, the uh, Power Rangers thing. I want to see if you guys got it. Okay. And then uh, eventually, like Isamu, like calls uh, Arto to just be like, "All right, we need to have a talk up on the roof." And so he <laughs> have to go up to where it's dramatic. And so, like, he tells him about his past story, and then he's and just me- like, "He's like, yeah, like I, you might be in charge of these fucking robots." Meanwhile, X was I'm up gonna... there talking. They were like, "Hey, we need the roof." Yeah, <laughs> it's our turn. No, no, no just Fuwa finishes what he's saying. That's the same fucking but, roof, but, right? But, like the door opens. I think the the helipad was a different color. Yeah, like the, it looked the same. I, I I think they just repaint. It's been repainted in the years since. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, just Fuwa says what he has to say. Door open. Like, hey guys, you only got five minutes left. That's our turn. We need to land a fucking helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hospital, goddammit! No, 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 that's it. That's an next thing. And basically, basically, Isamu's goal is established where he wants to, like, More prove, all the prove, robots. prove that yeah. Hidden Intelligence yeah. is, like, covering up, like, the human gear attack. When so. it comes to that helipad, if I say it's the same helipad, you can quote Ooh. me on it, because I literally found 20 pictures, including Google Earth, of the actual building to build it in Minecraft. So, <laughs> if I, if I, like... If I if I tell you a helipad's a helipad, you could take that to the bank. Because <laughs> I created that goddamn hospital in scale. It took me two weeks. Jesus. You know what? Now I'm now I'm thinking of it. That's awesome. Not that the hospital set is the same building mm-hmm. that actually has the thing in J- Japan. They're actually like like several hundred miles apart. But now I'm thinking about it. Think of it this that's way. That's cost effective. Yeah. Who wants to kill all the machines? Mm-hmm. Yep. Not everyone thinks this way. And. He was the only survivor from that we know from Daybreak Time, correct? Yeah, yeah, so far. So maybe that's why everyone's kind of agreeing with him. It's like, what do you mean they tried to kill you? Freaking the human gears the, are perfectly the, fine. So people don't believe him? Yeah, but like it's a whole boy who cried wolf. Ha! Mm. Boy who cried rubbit. Well, we'll see. I mean, they showed us footage of his past. Um... Let's get in, let's get into the Vulcan henchin. <laughs> I have to fucking say this is like the most badass henchin I've ever fucking seen. Like he, oh, he so, said badass, take a shot. So he shoots he shoots the shoots the 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 shot riser and then he goes shot rise and then like the bullet kind of, like oh. swerves around, tries to like I think he just fakes out the the magia, just like making him think, Oh, it's coming for you and then it goes back. And you just see the bullet, like, start to, like, kind of open up to it. And then he just fucking punches it. And then, like, it just starts, like, forming on his arm. And then you see, like, these little, like, armor casing things go on. And then, ha, 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 boy, you shot wolf. And then <laughs> um, they just, like, uh, the armor just starts going on to him. And then, like, you just hear, like, that. You got a problem? Punch it. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and I love when the helmet's forming and he has like these kind of like things like Shotaro had when he was transforming into double. Oh, I think yeah, it was like, when he was turning oh, into Joker. So, so, um, no, he had them when he was double too. So, so what, no, so what you're referring to is from the original Kamen Rider series in which uh, one of the big iconic things was Takashi Hongo had scars on his face from the surgery. Oh. So in which uh, double acknowledges the fact that like double... Also acknowledge. Yeah, that, look at that shit. Like, it's so cool. Uh, skin. I, 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 w- I will admit, I was like blown away when I first saw it, but now that I've watched it a couple times, I kind of don't like it. I love it. You and know what I mean? I, like, 
I was like shooting the the bullet turning into the armor is cool, but punching the bullet seems weird and something that he could like whiff at, at a later point. You, you know what it is? Just be like, hey, how did you know that you would tension if you punch the bullet? It's like, wait, that's not how it works. No, I thought you were gonna pump like. Blow I, your hand. I, I feel like there's been like there like. They've tested the system. It's just like he. Yeah, because this feels like something no, they were very. He's probably aware been of. like like re- rehearsing it in the mirror. Yeah. Engine. So and then it's just pretty, he has the gun in the mirror, so just talking to himself. He transforms. Are you mentioning like, with her? Are you are you mentioning with me? Yeah. I'm fully mentioning? okay with the Vulcan suit now. Like I really like it. I love. I I don't even mind the asymmetry on it. Like it. it it's looks fucking cool. Robocop Pepsi and Man. Like, um, Robocop Pepsi Man. I I I'm despite the fact that it's blue, I must unfortunately report I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan either. I'm not a huge fan of it either due to its asymmetry design. I don't mind the asymmetry. It's not it's it's not that it's asymmetric it's it's not that it's asymmetrical, it's that it's poor asymmetry. I can't not see Sonic the Hedgehog. Like the head, the upper left plate and the left right arm. Sorry, upper right plate and the right arm is blue when the rest of it is silver. Yeah. Okay, so there's a question. It looks jarring. So if Vulcan I mean, punches the bullet, oh, will Valkyrie sorry, kick it? Like, I fucking hope so. If she kicks it, I'm in love. Right? And think about it. She's going to be henching with the with the belt, or with the gun in the belt. So it's going to be pointed diagonally towards the floor. She could totally, like, as she shoots it, kick it with her left foot. I mean, she's going to. Comrade or Valkyrie, if she's not going to step on the bullet to him, she could just uh, step on me. Yeah, there you go. I also like that we saw in the preview that when she, like, pulls up the the key before putting it in the gun, she, like, spins it around in her hand. That's cool. Yeah, and she twirls it. And this is why I'm looking forward to Valkyrie more than Vulcan. Not just because it's a female writer, but I actually like her version of the... The, the shot riser suit asymmetry better. Oh, I just can't wait to see both no. of them work together. It's going to be awesome. Maybe they have a combined form later. Here's the biggest, Valkyrie. Here's Valkyrie. The big, here's the biggest question of all, though. How many of these do they have? I think just two. I feel like... Same or, dream or or they have to same. share. Oh. Oh. Okay, here's the thing. We have seen shots from the trailers of the two of them fighting at the same time. Dream so, Vegas, I, I, didn't know, I didn't know you also so. were a person of taste. I like to think maybe it's like, okay, now we know it works, so let's make another one. I would absolutely love if they did have to share it, at least at first. I feel like I feel like that's what's going to happen. No, it's my no, turn, no, 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 That's what's going to happen. Fu's going to get his ass kicked. And Valkyrie's going to pick it up yeah, and go, all right, my turn. It's like, all right, let me show you how it's properly done, bitch. Yeah. You know what it's probably going to be? She's probably going to be, like, so much more powerful, and then she never gets better. Like, you know, like, they outpace her. We already know she's getting a second form. Yeah. Well, they tend to nerf the female Lightning writers Hornet. a lot. Yeah. Well, as long as she doesn't die in 12 episodes, I will consider it a step forward. No promises. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Episode 13. She's still here. Uh, uh, so let's talk about the bike mode. Well, so, yeah. Mode. summon a giant phone from the I like the fact that it looks just like the toy. <laughs> right? So, when the when Ekal steals a bike from the hidden office garage and takes off, uh, zero one scans his rise phone on his driver and we hear the belt say changing to super bike motorcycle, motorcycle mode <laughs> and then you see the satellite like reconfigure and just shit out a giant version of the rise phone Yeet. it's weird because it says like what's the first word that it says changing it doesn't change though it's summoning right so shouldn't it be summoning bike yeah i feel like this was a bit of a misname changing from stationary to wreck your building mode yeah, another, great. We have another thing dropping through yeah, the fucking ceiling. It's a party garage. It's okay. <laughs> oh, it's the, it was in the warehouse district. Put it, it on some, the expense report. God, it's it's a skyline now. You know, some, <laughs> guy, some guy with a truck delivering cabbages to the building is parked upstairs. Cabbage rides. I told you for the last time, no one ordered a bunch of trampolines. No one ordered this giant trampoline. You know what, sir? You could have told me that before I took him out of the car. <laughs> just just the giant motorcycle bounces up <laughs> Back, back up into space. <laughs> back just destroys the satellite. And, 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 and yes, have Arto just shit. Just tapping his fingers like, like just fuck it. Steals the other bike. Wait, what am I doing? I can jump. <laughs> jump. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That would be cool if we, instead of another motorcycle fight, we get like someone else on a motorcycle and he just jumps along the road after them. <laughs> just crashes his bike. Yeah. All right. Guess I'm running. 
And it's like, but but it's got to be like poor Batman movie green screen where like he's running yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the background. So it's like, really but yeah, cool. I love that. Like the, we get this giant freaking phone. rise phone that crashes through the ceiling from space and then just floats there. Man, the new iPhone S is fucking huge. <laughs> yeah. And then he has to like push the app, the bike app, on that after pushing it on his actual phone already. That does not seem like intuitive design, so, right? So you were saying like, what would happen if he pressed one of the other buttons? Yeah, like what happens if he uses the other apps on the giant the, floating phone? You get the angriest birds ever. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to play Angry Birds in widescreen? Now, now changing. changing. Oh shit! I hit port up. <laughs> giant porn. No, no, the phone just starts. Then again, playing. you just sit down. Okay, I'm, I forget the fight. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. voicemail. I'm watching Belle Defeat. He's got a Jack Rise. No. no. <laughs> Jack Rise. <laughs> I love plays in our chat. Changing to super rare, awesome, mm. chocolatey, fudge coated, mega super. All right, all right. I'm gonna tie two jokes together. Um, Valkyrie stepping on the bullet made me shot rise. <laughs> Valkyrie, Valkyrie stepping on me equals authorized. <laughs> uh, Valkyrie is authorized to step on me. I don't know. She's powerful. She's a powerful woman with beautiful long hair. She can do anything. And, and a uh, gravure model, according to what someone posted in our server earlier this week. Can what? somebody please link me? She, she is Just a sexy photos. Grabs bikinis. Bikini. Yeah, but that's not her. That's the person who portrays her. Yes, the actress is quite, uh, quite fetching. Uh, no. I respect her body of work. Yeah, the, and her the, work on her body. Uh, <laughs> the bike, the bike kung fu is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, I, I'll go check her out in her apartment. I'll go check out her apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Was that from Jeez. Ghostbusters? Yes. Yes, it's from Ghostbusters. <laughs> but yeah, so the the bike happens, and we get the fucking battle theme, and that was great. Pulls in Akira. Yeah. That's, I think that's my thing where I will literally read Ooh. your notes for. And then we get some cool, um, we get some cool GoPro shots of like, uh, like the a coon and a Vulcan fighting they, each other. They yeah. are not in any way like go backing down on how cool the filming is this season. I love that like Vulcan dodges to the side and spills himself off the edge of well, a crate. Yeah, he's still learning how to use the suit. <laughs> shit, parkour, <laughs> shit. Maybe Valkyrie was right that I should have done the training. More like, more like Barkour. Also, I'm pretty sure Bark. she. I'm pretty sure she wanted. She was gonna let Isama become Vulcan because she's like recording him and just being like, "Oh, Fu has become Commander Vulcan." Finally, it's begun. Yeah. She says, which definitely seems like she wanted this to happen eventually. But she knew that he had so to be like optimally pissed off. Right yeah, you had to earn that shit. It's like, yeah, I wanted to do it, but I don't want it to be easy because fucking. Do uh, it. I just can't give it to him. Yeah, he's got. <laughs> Or can I? Who he's, is He's got to get that Don't thing. He's got to get that thing up on his own. Yeah. No one messes with Valkyrie. So yeah, uh, as Rider Doggo, they, they fight until night, and it's interesting that in the middle. Yeah, of that, one of those I hate when that fucking happens. Although this it one's was different. Cool that they had an well, they had a sepia tone yeah. on the shot before. Yeah, we see them actually fight during dusk as well, instead of just skipping right to night, which I think is just, a definite and then improvement. Suddenly, when they drive there, it's like Jeepers Creepers, where it's just night for no reason. They fought for hours. Link. Link. Yes. Why isn't that when we hang out with you? It's always nighttime or daylight in the in the span of like five minutes. Because <laughs> I'm the hero of time. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna go along with this. <laughs> it's from that. It's from that failed Zelda game, Oracle of Hours. So, uh, Vulcan. Yeah, I was about to get to this. So Vulcan uh, debuts his shooting blast Hisatsu, and it's fucking so cool. He summons like he summons like. Wolf bullets someone to like to take pin it. pin the fucker to one of the like the sports <laughs> crates. Someone has to take that. And yeah, it yeah. It. Zero so one's fucked. <laughs> someone has to take that and put the T one thousand on the. Well, other I want somebody like in the middle, just somebody leaning out, being like, "What the fuck?" Well, Tom, Tom, why was it like like a homeless guy, like yeah. like Doug Walker's like homeless guy <laughs> leaning out, like, "What's going on?" Well, Tom, Tom, Tom's not aware, but uh, Kamen Rider Build Hazard is like my favorite thing in Kamen Rider ever. It's the coolest fucking thing they've ever done. Oh, I love that's why. Hazard. That's why I have like a fucking Build Hazard display on my oh, show. I, love I got it. I got it. Oh, hi, Mock. <laughs> so, so he pins them with some like fucking bullet wolves because then, pack of wolves, and then just because the same thing that um, Zero One does, where he has like text show up, you just see like this gray background and just like kind of bullets hitting a wall. It's just like. 
As you, I love I love that because as they each character like hits the, the, the quote unquote wall, you see more and more cracks develop until the last character hits it and smashes through and the just wall. It's a shooting blast. It like hits through all these storage crates, hits him, and then continues to keep going through more storage crates, almost hitting zero one in the process. And then it just like keeps going and we don't even see what happens and to it. And we see this awesome we see this awesome effect of just uh like the crates just melting and like we see like them yeah, staring those people that yeah. own that we see them staring down each other and like then zero one just like disappears and mist it's so fucking f- subtle and like nonchalant but hilarious like zero one's standing there and then the smoke thickens just enough Bye. and then it, it like settles immediately and he's just fucking gone he's gone just, just, just <laughs> bye. Just, he pulled a Batman. Uh, and then I really, I really right like, now. I liked this attention to detail. So be, later we see Isamu with like uh, he has a, uh, his arm in a sling, and it's Rico. yeah. When he used Rico. the shooting Rico. blast, he actually injured his arm. Because that would it be really Rico lame? So he just he just tried too hard to open the thing and pulled a muscle. Oh. That might be it. Oh, that's probably might be it. I feel like if that was, it would have like Happened come up during the fight. No, I'm just joking because of how lame that would be. <laughs> what? It's like, yeah, did you do that when you shot that wicked gun? No, no this is yeah. from opening the thing. I tried no. to pry open a toy. No, 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 it's like, oh, did you do that? Yeah. Being a giant monster of that. That's what he told everyone. This <laughs> is what actually happened. He opens up his door, he accidentally trips, and he lands on his arm, spraying I thought it was it. turning him off to pull the trigger. Ow! Yeah. Oh, broke my arm. His legacy lives on. Um, so, it pretty he much... He broke episode... his arm, but his legacy lives ha! on. So, nice. the episode ends pretty essentially with Aruto just coming in as president and being like, yeah, the truth is, I am zero one. Except see, I, I was like, told see, I'm I, not. Yeah. See, who the I, fuck I, is zero one? See, I'm not. <laughs> see, I, I don't. I'm not even the the writer type. <laughs> I was totally ready for Arto to walk in. I know. Oh, I am zero. I know. I was like, thinking, like, holy shit, it she called this. But, but, c- come on, guys. He Tony just died. I think it would be a bit inappropriate. It's Arto. Oh, he's I, so, so angry. Show is already Arto, Tony Tony Rider, Star- Iron Man in so many ways, and yeah, plays with Arto, Tony Stark. All right, all right, no. Someone take that angry face with the end game shot with Tony with the Infinity Stones. I think that would fit. I saw someone earlier this week put put Tony Stark's face on Orin from Final Fantasy X. Oh, yeah. (laughs) No, and I said Robert Downey Jr. for Orin in a Final Fantasy X movie? Yes. That's what I get for typing Oron, man. Yeah. (laughs) It's like that joke where somebody was like, I'm going to take a movie title and remove one letter to make a completely different movie. And they took Iron Man and they removed the I and became Ron Man. So they wrote (laughs) Of Ron Swanson in the Iron that. Man suit. Oh, man. I saw that. Uh, yeah. yeah, flood our Discord with Aruto face emotes, everyone. I also want some more of those Bowsette emotes. Yeah. Those Bowsette. Ooh, plus side on the motorcycle fight. Uh, it was pretty cool how uh, there are like, other vehicles around uh, while riding around. So it, it makes the uh, city feel more lively. Yeah, yeah. Like there was like a shot of like... He, like, jumps over a car, and we see, like, two people in the car, and he's like, whoa! <sighs> Holy shit! By the way, uh, I don't know if anyone else was aware, but I was informed that the reason we don't see so many bike fights in Rider recent years, apparently there was a law in Japan enacted around the time when O's was airing that custom bikes are not exactly legal. But it's a- how is it exactly? But they just gotta. They just got, I know, but they just gotta film it on the Toei backlight. I don't care if it's the same fucking road again and again and again. That's why I think. Just give us stock. That's why, like in Gaim, when we saw like Baron and Gaim do their like little race, they were like on like a private area. So yeah, yeah. All right, to the airport. Uh, so I'm, next, I'm just chiming off what I've been told. Someone can feel free to confirm or prove me wrong on any of that. So. Yeah, this was this was a great debut for fucking Vulcan, and like I love him. He's my writer for this series, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing like what's ahead for him. So I am just happy that we are two episodes in, and the show is still amazing so far. Mm-hmm. I think this episode is better than the first. Hard to say for me, actually. I I know. Well, there the thing go. is, the first Sorry. one had a lot of exposition, and uh, really this one kind of just was like, it's giving you, giving, giving you all it's got. Like, it's, uh, it wasn't messing around. And the bike fight. I loved the bike fight. Oh, yeah. 
That's so good. It was. Yep. Uh, Anyways, K bomb. <laughs> fucking episode opens with them dancing to their own ending. Oh my god, we're doing the ninja again! Did that happen in the ninja? Oh, sorry? What? Oh, you mean the episode ending? Yeah. That was the only thing I fucking liked about that episode. Oh, that they were about to that, record like, the video on Ninja. I'm watching it with my friend, and the whole time I'm watching this episode the other day, I'm fucking complaining. <laughs> I'm just like, this fucking show, the fucking plot, and this fucking um, boat with this fucking hat. Everything's fucking bullshit. <laughs> and like, this whole, like, the B plot of them filming a video for. Uh, Guys, for doing a dance right now. And for I was us. just so, like, done. And then it gets to this point where it's like, okay, we'll do the video. And then they turn to, um, uh, Bomba. And they're like, are you gonna dance with us? And he has this great moment, if I must. And then it literally. <laughs> fades into the ending thing and I'm like shit that's really meta right like that and, and even features some extra footage of them in dancing yeah, in that room yeah and the, the thing is that's really clever yeah and I'm like you know what you get a pass this that, that once that card captors when they had that scene where they were taping the opening oh yeah oh by the way I have a picture that completely sums up that's what that's I'm what I yeah what I'm upset about of this show yeah. okay uh-huh. so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put this picture in the chat of my feelings about this show. <laughs> That's pretty much what, you know, what I feel. Is yeah. It like so, a really skinny ninja turtle? Or? No, no. I, I'm thinking more of like Peter Griffin with the Asian kid. He's like, come on. Do math. <laughs> Do math. It, it was funny at the end when like they're all lined up and then like Bob was not there and they just like pan over to him and he's like, Tom was just mentioning that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I love I love Bomba. I love Bomba too. uh, But the thing is, like, I just wish they would do something with the characters. But the thing is, the saving fucking grace. Like, I'm just like, man, I want some fucking plot. Like, look, guys, orcs here. Look, six ranger. Look, stuff's happening. I'm like, shit, the ten episodes worth of plot we've been waiting for. Yeah. But I'm just like, next week, if that fucking shit happens at the beginning, like, it, it's like, I'm the Six Ranger, see ya. Oh, I'm Guy's Org, see ya. Now we're gonna talk about Seven. a magical music box that makes people fart. <laughs> what? First off, Seventh Ranger. Is, Seven, what, yeah, Seventh what, Ranger. The, I think it's a little bit of a bad thing that I have to ask the question. Is that a reference to a specific thing that happened somewhere? No, that's just me coming up with the stupidest idea off because the top of my head. Like and it an doesn't. an actual episode of some such Yeah, no, it, it, it sounds doesn't like. sound outlandish at all. No, it sounds like that could be the next episode. Uh, all right. The magical uh, music. The magical, yeah. Also, one Art. thing real quick. I forget who, but someone in our Discord chat over the last week pointed out something that I should have realized about 25 weeks ago. Uh, Bamba and Toa are Batman and Robin. <laughs> the brooding black bad boy and, and his nimble green sidekick. Again, <laughs> right. again, it's just... It's He's just, got green pants. It's, it's just... Co-Asana. So Batman and Robin's lower half. <laughs> and, and again, it's just Co-Asana and Melt hanging out, and then fucking Toe and Bomba are out doing their own thing. Oh, look, it's my star. Let's fight him. Oh, well, yeah. Here's, here's something for the emote, because they hit me with their emote, so they, uh, I gotta put this up. Just on a head on a spike? Yep. Oh. oh. I was drawing it on a live stream, and this guy goes, you should draw Shrek. <laughs> and uh, that's that's him getting what he no, asked for. No, 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 So yeah, this is pretty much about an evil music video that's trying to take over the world. All right, let's be per- perfectly honest. That song is fucking awesome. It's a pretty good song. I want it. It'll be on the next character album. I'm getting it. Yeah. That song is good. End of the year, Crayon Christmas. Can, Crayon can sing. Right? Crayon can sing. Bon no Batman. <laughs> There's that shot you wanted. Thank you. Yeah, by the way, that moon is like really close. Yeah. Oh, my oh god. god, it's gonna crash into the earth. Toa, quick. Play there are the two time. days remaining. Someone, someone, <laughs> someone photoshopped the Majora's Mask moon in that picture. And, and then it's in the James voice. Uh, there are two days You remaining. know the one thing, like, I'm watching this episode, I'm just like, there's nothing wrong with this episode. The plot is serviceable. It's not exactly an unoriginal plot. How many evil, you know, fucking musical numbers have there been in Super Sentai? But this feels like an episode five piece of shit. I was not about a... to say the exact same yeah. thing down to the episode number. Wait, really? Right out to episode five? <laughs> like, I was looking, okay. <laughs> you have the connection. Yeah. It's half 
happening? You're becoming just like me and Lane. Yeah. But I mean, like, I okay, so I was putting, like, I downloaded the episodes and I keep them. And my friend uh, Tasha is in um, Calgary right now. Um, so don't destroy it yet. Okay. Um, so, uh, but the thing is, she really loves Ryu Soldier. Um, because, like, she hasn't seen a lot of shows and she might not know that, you know, she deserves better. But... <laughs> Biggest shade I could throw at this show. I've had better. Oh, but anyway, no, no, but anyway, um, so I'm putting it away. I'm putting the like I've got the episode downloaded on my phone. I'm putting it away in like up of the drive where I'm storing it. And I'm just like, I wonder how many episodes. So I actually was like clicking on the episodes to figure out how many episodes. What are we at? 26, 27, 25. 25 to see how many episodes out of these 25 have had plot. And I literally like three, right? Exactly. Oh my god! We're all in sync! Well, like, we're talking the, uh, well, not counting the first episode, because the first episode has to have fun. So you get the first the episode, first episode, and then around episode island. three something happens, then around ten something happens, and now, like, we're waiting. Like, oh no, Kyle Red! That's yeah, okay. His heart fell off. The first it's episode okay. has more plot than the rest it's of the show. Right. And I'm like, I'm watching it with my friend, he's just hanging out, and I'm just like, I, I'm, t- and like, literally, like, I, he goes, okay, he's never watched an episode of this show. And then he goes, um, he's watching Wizru or whatever his fucking name is. Wizru. Wizru, and he's like, I feel that guy's kind of outstayed his welcome. <laughs> and I'm like, do you watch this show? He's like, no, I'm just like, <laughs> You watch him for five fucking minutes in this show, and you're like, I feel that this... But he goes, I like the little green one. And I'm like, well, that, everyone loves the little green one. So the thing is, like, this person's never seen the show. Their biggest thing was nothing fucking happened in the episode. Yep. That... Though it is funny, he feels that it should be doing something more. The little green one is good. Why is there a welcome? And the guy in black is damn cool. <laughs> From someone who had not seen... <laughs> <laughs> that beats mine. <laughs> I want to do something. Who put that? Uh, Kagi Dex. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> oh, what, is the, the, what does the caption say? Come on, do something. No, 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 above. He said something above. Or is she? I don't even know who the... Exhibit uh, A, anybody. Savage's abject disappointment with Ryu Soldier. Like, now, the thing is, I want to love... Th- uh, yeah, that should be the thumbnail. Um, uh, for one of them, I don't know. We but, have another idea for yeah. the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. No, the thing is, I love the show. Right now, I'm holding Cosmo Raptor, and I've been petting it, and you know, because it's precious. I Just love, love him. And I love him. the fucking Zord. I like the suits. I love, you know, Bomba. Uh, I want Asuna to step on me. Um... <laughs> Um, I, uh, I, <laughs> the like I've been having I've been having conversations with uh, uh, with the uh, um, what's what's his name sister Canalo's sister oh, and don't. now uh, oh, now uh, Chris Hansen wants me to take a seat. <laughs> um, Calling you, but I mean, like this show seems like it has all of the pieces of a good show. But nobody, and you know what I think it is. You know what it feels like to me. It feels like like a bunch of people are fucking sitting around in a in a boardroom going, okay, the toy sales and the reception wasn't as good for the last series. We got to make this special. And the thing is, like any idea that anyone has is so watered down. And you know, it's like that meme where the one guy has a good idea and they throw him out the window. Yep. Like it's just like there's a committee fucking making the show, and every time that something fails, they just fucking fire somebody. <laughs> like they just assign it a blame to somebody, and they. So it seems like nobody is steering this fucking ship. And the thing is, like, every series, like, even Geki Ranger, which I love, has filler. You know, it has times where they're like, well, we gotta, yeah. we gotta have a couple of cheaper episodes, or we gotta, you know, delay some stuff. This one seems like it went from, like, first episode into filler. Yeah. And it hasn't That's come exactly out. exactly what I've been I saying. I feel like we've gotten, like I said, three episodes. So we've gotten 22 episodes of filler. Yeah. And three episodes of plot. Mm-hmm. And the plot, I love it. I love Guy's org. I love the idea of it might be their master. I, I love, the, you know, like the, you know, the, the thing about the uh, war between the land Reusol tribe and the water Reusol tribe. But the thing is, they're just barely touching it because they seem afraid to fucking commit to a plot. Right. And there's no, we literally, there are less villains in this fucking series than Rita Repulsa has hanging out in her fucking, like, her fucking living room. <laughs> <laughs> like she's it's like pretty well we got Babu and Squat that's it Goldar died early on 
Like, we need a fucking Lord Zed. Or at least an Ivan Ooze. We don't, need... don't ever say least and Ivan Ooze. Right? No, at least, because he's not the greatest villain. But Did he look really there something like this? I was really hoping that you would do the <laughs> Ivan Ooze voice, and that's why this. I brought him. Well, no, he's, he's a serviceable villain, but I mean, he's not the first choice. He's, he'd be the third choice. He'd be my first choice. I don't know. Just... Yeah, you know what we got? We need an Ivan Ooze. Wait a minute, we have one. What yeah. about Crayon? Yeah. Where's... Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we do have an Ivan Ooze. Yeah, we need Rita and Zed, but instead they've Here's given the... us whoever that fucking was in Turbo. Here's the, <laughs> Here's the thing. Wiser was all about being show me... showy and dramatic, and Wiser kind of does that. Yeah. I won't say he's the Ivan Ooze, but, like, you know what I mean. This show is... Okay. Fuck. Okay, so the thing is, remember Tokyo? Uh We were about halfway through when before Zed showed up. Yeah. And said, I'm kicking the pot in high gear. But the thing is, before he showed up, you had amazing fucking villains keeping the seat warm. Yeah. Like, they, everybody, every single one of the, like, I would, even fucking Mork was amazing. There are no shitty villains, in my opinion, of the main, main core in Tokyo. This one, I'm sorry, Crayon is fucking keeping that chair warm and they forgot where they put it. Yeah. Like, they, like, it is... Like, as I said last week, which is kind of funny that next week we seem to be getting plot, they're almost past the, uh... We're, the, we're at the halfway mark. Yeah, we've, oh, we're, 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 we're turtling, you know, like, uh, you know that, uh, that scene, I'm gonna, oh, I can't believe I'm quoting this movie, Aliens vs. Predator, where somebody says, oh, the point of no return's coming, oh, the guy goes to take a picture, what's that? Oh, the part where if we run, you know, if something happens, we can't turn back. No. And I'm like, they're almost fucking there. The point of no return is episode 40. Because yeah. one, one, you, you gotta have everything planned out. How can you guys say point of no return without making, making a phantom reference? Uh, a what? A what? A reference to Phantom of the Opera. Oh, I've never seen Phantom of the Opera. I saw the movie once, but I remember yeah. nothing about it. That's fair. But, but I mean, like, um, so it's, so I want the show to be great. I want, and the thing is, I'm told the toys actually sell pretty well, which probably may be why they don't give a fuck. That might be thanks to me. Yeah, I don't see. Any um, I buy not. every Reusol. I don't see yeah. any toys here. That's because we're not in my room. There's one. Yeah. Wait, wait, Gar. Well, bomb, bomb, bomb. Ah, there's two. Uh, there's <laughs> two, two and a half. It's double dinosaur. But I mean, like, I don't know. Like, I, I love the suits. I just want. It just seems like. There's nothing. There's no substance. Like, I don't even want to talk about this It's like a fucking arrow anymore. bar. You're like, oh, it's a chocolate bar. It's full of air, people. You it's like, air it's air like a giant bag of chips. Like, I wouldn't be your so fucking angry. Your a bag of chips. You think you Tank know what Joe, you're getting. It should have been when, when, when Wiz, Wiz fuck. Like, Wiz fuck. <laughs> I don't fucking care. Wiz Ron Swanson. Wiz Ron. Tank yeah. job. Uh, tank job is best. Tank job should have fucking come back, right? Like, and he, he did, did come back. They should have. He was fucking back. Right. It should have been like, I don't want to go back. Wizard will get fucked. Can we exchange for you? Yeah, exchange. A soul for Equip, a soul. Yeah. But a soul, soul for a soul. soul. But I mean, like, and this episode was about souls. Look, the gimmick of the episode was that. Why is there a manipulated crayons? Genuinely hard worked YouTube video that he poured his heart and soul and a little bit of green goop into. <laughs> into a tool to steal the souls of people across yeah, the world. Well, you know what the best you know you know what the the best part was? My friend, you know, I said who never watched uh they watched a little bit of Boken or uh Gowanger. Oh um, more souls. Yeah. So anyways, the, all the shit's going down and and then they go, It it occurs to me that they could solve this whole problem by deleting the video. <laughs> and then I'm like, yeah. And then Crayon deletes the video. And he's like, oh, there you go. It was so funny that Crayon did it himself because he didn't like being used. But for the split second between the video has been deleted and Crayon revealing that he did that, I was ready to go. Copyright protection. Did his video yes. get taken down by YouTube? Monster. I'm sorry, Crayon, your your, your video has no, been demonetized. It wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't that he deleted it because it was being used. He was deleting it because Weiser kept calling it foolish. And he's like, oh, my video's foolish, huh? Well, then fuck you. You don't get to use it. I'm going to make a better video. I feel like that. I feel like it was both of those reasons. I, like, here's what I want. Here's what I want to happen. Um... Uh, I want the the seventh ranger to show up and fucking make them act like fucking you know I want knights. Him to, knights. Yeah, make them act like knights. I want him to tell them what their fucking quest is, and I want him to say there's some big shit coming. 
And then I want Geysorg to fucking show up with the big shit. I want Geysorg to be like, I'm working with this Ooh. fucking guy. Show up with the elder's no, head in his no. fucking hands. Tom, I think I know what you need. You need the ten Hades, like the ten Hades beasts. The Hades demons from Magic Ranger? Yes. Fuck yeah. This is what this show needs. Just a, a large... Get these shit ass villains out of the way. Yeah. We're the real danger here. Yeah, just like, who are you guys? <laughs> We're the reasons why the Druidians came back to Earth. Fuck. <laughs> what, just, what if evil Kishiru? Yeah. Just they had their own evil. I just, I just want it to be like, hey, while well, you guys were fucking around, the ultimate evil was fucking coming, kind of showing up, and you ain't seen nothing yet. And then the show gets <laughs> fucking dark or, or like, just right? intense. Because the thing is, imagine that they fucking get their heads out of their fucking asses and do some <laughs> shit. And then you look back to, like, remember that fucking Rhea soldier that was terrible for half the series and then got fucking lit? That's my goddamn dream. It's not going to happen. Right? I don't believe for a second it's going to happen. Because well, right now, that fucking, that there's a there's a, a, a guy who signs the checks sitting in a boardroom I looking up. Salvador. And he's fired every person. He looks up to the janitor. Well, what do you got? That person is Hate Saburo. Yeah. So I hope that janitor has got a good second. I hope that janitor has a good, uh, at this point, third act. Because we've hit act, we're at the end of act two right now. They didn't do shit. Like, like, Blu-ray wise, we're at the end of act two. Yeah. So we're on our third act coming up soon. Yeah. And they've done. 26 is the start of act three. Oh yeah, by the way, I like how by the time this episode starts, Oto is already freaking given Canalo for all his bullshit last episode. Because I'm here to support you, Oni Chan! Uh, Get a bride! Uh, By the way, I'm off to go. Fuck. Men. <laughs> I'm off to go swindle children. I'm off to go. I'm, <laughs> off, to go, I'm off to. I'm off to go stalk Melto on Instagram. By the way, Melt is just the fucking worst. He's, an, he's. I think he's honestly the worst blue I've ever seen. That like they're trying to do this video for Ui and Ko and Austin are being supportive and Melt is just a fucking stick in the mud. Oh, this. this oh, why aren't you in the video then? If it's your video, why are we doing it? Like this video isn't is about me. Melt's a dick. And then Tiramigo proceeds to call him Bolt, and I I found it funny. No, but, it was Bo- it said Baruto. Oh, Come here's on. the biggest mystery of the episode. What? So Tiramigo watches the video and gets his soul stolen. And five minutes later, we see him sitting in the the, the, the the house. How the fuck did they get him there? And they shrunk. Actually, that reminds me. Oh, what's up? Sorry, but I think you're right. They might have shrunk him using the trick. Yeah. I want my friend who was uh, uh, watching, I mean, which was more entertaining than watching the episode. <laughs> my friend who jumped in at episode 25 of this series. <laughs> they're just going to leave that thing there? And, and then it cuts and goes, oh. <laughs> they got, did they, like, get a truck or something? Like, <laughs> like, and he's like, the stuff that's happening in this episode is not as interesting as the bat, the B story of how they got that dinosaur. <laughs> because when, at, near the end of the episode, when they actually get his soul back, it just has, I forget who it is who gets it, um, holding it, and then they throw it, and then it cuts to being in that room, and it just hits him. Like, how did that happen? Right. You know what bothers me? The stupidity, and, uh, which... At the time, I thought it was the stupidest shit they forgot until I watched those episode of Power Rangers, and I'll get to that. <laughs> um, it's like, shit, we can't summon the Megazord without uh, Tiramigo. And then I'm thinking, like, doesn't Canalo have a backup one? Right, they've got, like, three oh, And they also say, they say very clearly, we can't use the the uh, Cosmoraptors without Tiramigo. And I'm like, the last episode... Was he, Neptune. He Neptune yeah, Raptor. They just fucking used it. There's a fucking stream over there. Fucking call him. You, you have Dime Volcano and like, I'm just I'm just so fucking angry. Fucking Ryu soldiers. We've completely forgotten that the other that the four out of five of the fucking main Megazord come. Do we need another clip show to remind you how to use your swords? Can, can, we, can we just move on, please? Oh God, I'm just so angry. I want to love them. Show I'm, sucks. I'm like their mother who is like upset. I'm very oh, disappointed. Also, they did a fucking Digiport open moment when they fucking finally rescued your amigo and then go into the internet oh, to okay. kill the dinosaur. No, Ichi, do you have that screenshot I asked you to take? Oh yeah. Okay, I got it. so. Fucking, I asked each of you to take a screenshot of this. So, we got a quick shot of this fucker's room. Like yeah. this guy who, like, friends crap. Crayon made an actual he's, human he's friend! He's got a fucking pillow of, like, a tiger, a lion, he's got, like, a croissant, like, a burger. Neck pillow, a burger. Burby. And he has, like, a bunch of bows up here. Like, look at this room! 
I love that croissant. That is that uh, is that Wanda hiding in plain sight on the right? Probably. Which, where? <laughs> the flamingo. It's the, yeah, it's the only fairly odd parents joke I know. Yeah. Yeah, so I just thought, well, I thought it was interesting. They went into the right. internet to fight, but they accidentally went into the YouTube uh, comment section and they got rocked. That green frog art, on the other side is causing. I think this is like no. a rival YouTuber that Crayon happened upon. Yeah, which this is Anikin TV. He's got uh, more subscribers than Yoda, even Master Yoda. Mm-hmm. This is Anakin. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, but yeah, oh. the the only clever thing this was just when like they're about to record the the video and then it just cuts to the ending. It was like, and now it's in my official head canon that the ending, uh, the ending it's is just, just, just you Uwe's video. But there's still a good there's, editor. There's so much footage in that ending that my immediate response was, "How did you get that shot?" <laughs> But I mean, like, oh, here's shit. how bad and boring that episode was, that that little meta moment was literally me going, this is the best fucking thing. Yeah. Like, it's just... I don't know. Anyways, that's it. Next week we actually get, like, relevant plot. Shh, don't jinx it. Nada, we, we, nada. Get, we get nada. We get nada. Absolutely nada. Nada. We get Geysorg. And Kagayaki Ray. See how long Kagiyaki he fucking Ray. comes around for? Probably for, like, a minute to just talk to someone and go... Go fuck yourself. And Please, Ryu soldiers, do something. We need the return of Old Jack. If, if this is another fucking clip show, like no, if it's one? literally, if no. if we get another clip show in the next three episodes, hmm? I'm gonna flip a goddamn table. Episode forty four. I'd be okay with that because that's like tw- you know tw- nineteen <laughs> episodes away. <laughs> what do you think this is, Common Rider? Uh, Common Rider Black, which. The third last episode is a clip episode. They have the last episode, and then the last episode's a clip episode. Oh, I want so much better from the show. <laughs> you were supposed to bring joy to their souls, not steal them. It's nights. It's dinosaurs. How are you fucking this up? Like, you have Geysorg. Use him. Yeah, use Geysorg. Can't use him too much. Though. Yeah. I, I think the fact they've used him, like, once. Like, one fucking time. And maybe the elder can come back. Like, is he? Are he selling a fucking a ton of shawarma? Like, you know, like is he? What if what if Geysorg just is the elder? Like, oh he just God. he takes off the fucking helmet. Hey guys, it's me. And I can't believe in our talking hey, with Guysorg. Bamba that this didn't come up. Then I would be questioning Ultraman Jax's belief in humanity. All right, are we going to <laughs> just just like, right. oh, like he's been selling shawarma to re- to fund the reconstruction of the temple? Yeah, <laughs> with Lego bricks. Yeah, he's going to be at that a while, now I think about it. Anyways, let's get into our feature topic. I was excited when Gar was like, we need to watch a few episodes, and I was like, fuck yeah, Mighty Morphin. Like, ten minutes in, I'm like, what the fuck did I see in this show? But then I remembered that episode, watching that episode when I was, like, a young adult. Well, no, I would have been a late teenager. When I was a young wart, And I was really yeah, into Power Rangers. Like, really into Power Rangers. <laughs> I had the toys. I had the belt and the toys. They were, like, in the figures. And this is around the time I stopped watching the show. <laughs> like, we're talking, like, I literally watched the movie and then said, I think I'm done. Like, Gar, I need, I need to question your logic on this. What? So, we're trying to remember... Robert Axelrod in the greatest, most awesomeness way, and the way you decide that we need to remember him by is the wedding episodes, and not his debut episode, when he comes into Power Rangers and he's just this badass as fuck villain. But no, we need to remember when Rita gives him a fucking love potion in his sleep, his little evil nap time evil he needs recharge to have, sleep. and decides, oh my god, Rita is the most sexiest fucking thing I've ever seen. I need to marry that immediately. You know, That's what you decide. Gonna, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm going to defend Gar. Because, though that was the more badass episode, this is the one that has more Zed screen time. That's true. And where he had seemingly the most fun. Heck, that's just, true. Like, we got to we got to see him have a combination religious, okay? uh, uh, Christian, and Jewish wedding. <laughs> oh, my moon. God. Did they you notice the, that? The, 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 the
Like Zed, I figure Zed is Christian because he was insisting on so the I do so and all of the things. So yeah, and the thing is, she was like, I don't, oh, I mean, I do. Like, she didn't know the things. But then she's the one, like, really excited about the dancing and they're playing that traditional Jewish. They play Hamad Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like, holy shit, Rita's Jewish and, and Lord they, Zed's Christian. And my immediate response to that is, are they trying to imply that Jewish people are evil? No. 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 They can just, they're no. implying no. that they, they can afford to Jewish. live on the moon. <laughs> Point you we hear radio since I cast I, I ran that joke Jewish by my Jewish girlfriend. Evil. She said it was gold. Okay, we have approval. And uh, uh, no, oh. but anyway, like the thing is, We've like authorized. I, I love the thing is okay. Here's two things. Sorry to be on a tangent here. That's okay. But there are two things that I loved about these three. Uh, these these uh, actually three things. Okay, one. Robert Axelrod was fucking awesome. Agreed. Like, the whole way through. He was just chewing the scenery. And this was, I think, the greatest representation of what he did at that character. It's funny that you say he chews the scenery when Zed doesn't have a mouth. Yeah, well, he sure does. Doesn't stop him from kissing Rita. And it doesn't stop him from drinking a love potion, which... She just pours it into his grill. Yeah. (laughs) But then we do get a shot of Finster in this, in, like, part two. They do kiss. Somehow. Yeah, but I mean, like, if that's what you call uh, I loved that. Another thing that I like was the little attentions to detail. Because the thing is, is as bad as the production value for the the show is, you get the sense that there's people working very hard. And there was this great editing moment where they're playing the the Jewish wedding song, uh-huh. where it keeps cutting to this Z putty playing like a, an instrument, like to the music, and it was just so well edited. I was like, that's really clever. And they had a lot of fun with that scene. And that scene was the best part of the three episodes of Garbage. <laughs> I think my favorite part of this whole thing was... So up until that point, all of the Rita Repulsa footage had been stock footage that they had lip-synced to. Yeah. And I will say, they have done a very good job of yeah. syncing her, her dialogue to the lips yeah. for the most part up until that point. So how do they decide to uh, change things up so that Rita Repulsa and Zed can interact more realistically and with more freedom of dialogue? They have Rita Repulsa undergo a makeover to make her look younger so they can have Barbara Goodson actually play her. Well, no, Barbara Goodson wasn't her. It was just the voice. Oh, sorry. Okay, my point is yeah. they had an actual actress No, but I mean, they could Barbara actually, Goodson is a white lady. But, but sorry. No, they could actually have the, the suit actor. Yeah. They have mouth actually, the words. They, they didn't use the stock footage. They used their own actual actor for her. Yeah, so they probably had, like, recordings of it and or it had her match it, like, one way or the other, yeah, but yeah, it, was, yeah. it was perfect. And the thing is, like, as dumb as that idea is, I'm just like... It's oh, genius. I'm just like, you know what? That's clever. I'm going to give it to you. And, right? And this was oh. all because parents did not like Lord Zed. Yeah, he was too scary. Hardcore. Hell, when he was fucking sleeping, you could see, like, intravenous tubes, like, fucking yeah, running was, through him and shit. And I was like, oh my god. It was like a crack addict from the moon. Are they, re- <laughs> like, are they rejuvenating his evil? Like, so, yeah, they like, said it was a sleep he has to undergo to recharge his evil energy. Well, like, I'm just, I'm just thinking that Lord Zed's gotta, like, you know, like, remove... Zordon as a friend from his Facebook because he knew like when he was gonna have a sleep. My, he's like, I saw on Lord Zed's Facebook and he's going into the rejuvenation my, thing. Uh, you could go to Australia. It's the nineties. It's my, MySpace. My, my favorite shot from this entire episode though is when like they get married and then they go off on their honeymoon in serpents. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay. large I love it so much. And and they go on their honeymoon. <laughs> Seriously, Car, what were you fucking thinking? Seriously, Seriously what, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Oh, um, boys. So they go off on their honeymoon oh, in, 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 in Serpentera, no less. <laughs> and just... <laughs> they go up into the sky. You just see a shot where it's a stock footage of Serpentera <laughs> from, like, Die Ranger, wherever the fuck it's from. Yeah, it's from Die Ranger. And yeah, it's from Die Ranger. You just see a Photoshop just... Flaming, like, just box. Flaming that just says, man. Just, just married. Just and it's just obviously married. they just... Pasted it on to the fucking shot. It had a better frame rate than the footage it was over. You know one thing I'm gonna take? <laughs> I love Die Ranger. It's one of my favorite Sentai seasons. Like I fucking it's love it. Dope. But I will admit that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers did more shit with that fucking Zord. Because if you've seen Die Ranger, it shows up twice. And it does nothing. It literally shows up. It transforms into the fucking dragon and then sits there and says, I'm going to fuck the world. Wait, it transforms into the, the dragon? World. What is it before? Well, it's like a standing dragon sword. Oh. 
And and basically the whole idea is like, I'm going to destroy the Earth if you guys don't stop fighting. And they stop fighting and it fucks off and comes back later and says, are you done? It doesn't do anything. So the fact that they were able to gleam enough stock footage out of those two appearances to fucking make this thing a thing is amazing. Wow. Well, I still got some terror. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I think we, we were decided to make that our thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was it that or was it the Zordon head? It was both. I think it was both. It was yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did anyone notice that that Zordon head that Alpha fucked with started looking a lot like Gar? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just watching going, that looks like Gar. <laughs> Hang on. Gar, you're no. Zordon. Hang on. Let me... I'm gonna call him... Yeah, exactly. I was just thinking Gardon. Gardon. <laughs> Gardon. Gardon. Yo. Ranger, Caster, Gardon, Gardon. Yes, we know that. Where has the Gardon too? Gardon. All right, I have a challenge. I need somebody to put a picture of Gar's face in the Zordon too. Oh no! But we already had Stella as Zordon. No, no, yeah, we, that was the we, that was no, the we Zordon. Zordon. Wasn't there an episode where we put Gar's head in Zordon's tube? Yeah. We did. No, 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 yeah. no. That was no. They okay. Put, no, uh, Gar, was, come over here. Gar, come over here. Oh, we need a picture of your face. Uh, oh, hang on, let me at least do it with my own. I yeah, take Google take pixels. just take a neutral picture of yourself. Alright, hang on. Uh, oh god. Uh, I got so, so much editing to do in the morning. No, we're gonna have somebody in the chat do this for us. Sure. <laughs> oh hang on, that one wasn't good. <laughs> whoever does this. This one doesn't look like I'm who, time warped enough. Whoever whoever uh, does this picture uh, of Gar as uh, Zordon, I will try I, they get to pick the rider I make into a rider girl uh, uh, Oh please, shit. Please excuse the scar on my face. The, nope, the Gar scar. Which is my face. Oh. No, no, that's not fair. I'm the self detrimental one around here. Thank I, you. I, I do have a bit of a scar though on my. Uh, Shit, that is like literally the perfect picture to use it for is. this. That's There's your new dating profile thing. Right. Oh, sorry, did I forget to mention the Power Rangers were in this? Oh, three yeah. Oh, yeah the so they, they, they went to Australia and then they're he fucking does? around. Oh, okay, okay. So there's a reason why they're in Australia for this, production wise. Jesus. So this when these three episodes came around. This was around the time, production-wise, was when they were filming the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. So the movie was filmed in Australia? Yes. <laughs> because Australia's it's, the Toronto of, because of Australia. Because it's cheap to film down there. Come on and take a free ride to Australia! Uh, so yeah, uh, uh so, uh... If, if people work together in the chat to make that Gar picture, they both get to pick. Oh, but yeah. I could do that all myself, so, yeah, but I'm so, tired. <laughs> and the, the only strange thing is that the main... The only the, strange thing? The, the high school kids that get to go... Uh, I'm not using air quotes because high school was and like, oh, they're 20-year-olds playing high school. Yeah. No, the high school students are just, you know, the six rangers and Bulk and Skull. Yeah. How did Bulk and Skull get chosen? Like, yes. Like, we're talking... <laughs> there's somebody going... Are, are, are those maybe for lucky they'll get lost those yeah. kids no you know what they're there. like, like there's, there's something seriously wrong with those two yeah but may, maybe maybe, maybe we can have the we greatest have to, rangers ever and we, no one knows we have to be inclusive yeah it's like one of those things like okay if we send just a bunch of really rich looking preppy kids they're going to assume that we only sent the rich kids let's send those <laughs> two kids and they're going to assume that we'll send anybody no, it's just we, we, guys you gotta pretend you're yeah, but keep that in dying. mind. Vulcan <laughs> Skull are a treat. They're always a treat. Ever, okay, so I used to love this show, but a lot of stuff in this show has not aged well. You know what has aged well? Everything out of those two's mouth. Like, yeah. even when they're fucking interacting with fucking Australian zoo stock footage, it was fucking amazing. They fucking I want to hunt kangaroos and koalas and shit. And they fucking get trolled at the restaurant. Like, we'd like a lobster, the freshest one you have. They bring a live fucking lobster. Too fresh! Which, by the way, is one of those declawed lobsters where they've already ripped the claws off, but it's still technically alive for freshness. Yep. That was kind of a weird choice, but... Roll with it. Just, I think they just picked the biggest one they had handy. Yeah. The Rangers felt weird when they were not morphed because they started talking about, you know... Ranger shit out in the public, being like, like they're oh, yeah. in the middle of a sword. Of they're like in Australia. Nobody knows who we are here. They haven't started the Nickelodeon years yet. Does Australia go to my room? One thing that I'm going to say. You know what my favorite acting moment actually like um, is the 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 actors outside of the suits are all sitting having lunch and the, and they're just talking to each other and it was literally the best acting I've seen out of half yeah, of them. Yeah. They're like, hey, let me finish. And they're like, oh, how's the breakfast? Oh, it's pretty good. It's like, 
Or it's like, oh, should we be concerned only about how we're going to get that stuff home? Well, what do you, what do you use a tugboat? And then, like, Jason and Chris like, a tugboat! And they had this really authentic laugh. Like, it was, a, like, they were actually, like, really friends. One of them told a funny. That said, it was really, really weird to just hear Tommy casually laughing. Yeah. yeah. But it was a, it was such a real moment that it, it kind of was like, that's a sweet moment. But, but it's weird because... They didn't like, know the cameras were on. Like, like, besides from that, they're, like, over here. I'm, like, ten feet away from you guys. Oh, yeah, I'm totally glad Zordon told us about, you know, this thing that we shouldn't know about because we're definitely not the Power Rangers. I'm pretty sure that they know that Bulk and Skull are incapable of figuring out anything. Well, yeah, Bulk and Skull became the Warthog and freaking Dota Bird Rangers. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. It, it, Read the comics, case. and it is very it makes sense that they probably had to milk the most out of those actors. Like they probably only had them for like two days, because if they're only really in three C, and also the fact that I'm almost sure, like just like they literally just had to film that real quick. And fucking, why is Ernie seeing them off? Right, it was so weird. Like we need oh, to you have do. you in here. But it was good to see Ernie though, because Ernie kind of like. At the beginning of the first season, Ernie's in it a lot, but he just kind of disappears. Like, he'll be in the background, like that dude from Friends, Gunther. He's the Gunther of Power Rangers. <laughs> yep. But I mean, Ernie like, gets and back. the thing is, like, he's talking, I'm like, shit, this is the most I've ever heard Ernie talk. And then he got replaced by the... However, very clearly, he's not in the same filming area. Like, it's, like, literally they're cutting to him, oh, and it's yeah. like, all right, see you later, guys. Like, it's pretty much like oh, shit. kids. It's like, because they were probably filming the shit on the bench already in Australia. Because uh, I'm pretty sure Ernie wasn't in the movie. Yeah, no, Ernie was not in the movie. And uh, so it's just like, shit, we need somebody to establish his own name. Well, Ernie's handy. <laughs> he lives on the set. <laughs> yeah. Like, we just we just leave out food for him. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> Don't mention Santa Claus and Power Rangers. You'll trigger plane. <laughs> Yeah. Speaking of Alpha being an evil mastermind, Finster oh. corrupts Alpha with a disc and he becomes amazing. With 60 yeah. frames per second. Yeah. And he becomes basically Cyber Crayon. <laughs> oh, a thing that was great, okay, so you know I was talking about how, you know, like the great editing and sometimes people like they're working really hard. There's a joke. Let's see if it's on here. Did anyone catch, okay, when uh, Finster's talking about bringing Rita back to full size, did anyone catch the really obscure reference that he made? No. no what, what was he it? said, I've never turned this thing up to 11 before. Which is a reference to This Is Spinal Tap, the, oh. the, stair, or the recording stereo that goes up to 11 because this one goes to 11. So they made the writer snuck in a This Is Spinal Tap joke into a kid's show. I love that. That's for the parent watching. Yeah. <laughs> well, because the thing is, like, I didn't get it when I presumably saw it as a kid, because I hadn't seen that movie. But I'm watching it now, I'm like, yeah, that's a Spinal Tap joke. I love how that scene with her, like, she comes back to the Moon Palace all tiny from being in the dumpster. Yeah. And I love, <laughs> the scene with her and Finster effectively devolves into, make me grow! Yeah. <laughs> Just, you, know the funny, you know what the funny thing is? Everything with the new, and the thing is, the, the woman that they have playing Rita now is fucking spot on. Yeah. And I'm a fucking hipster for Bandora from uh, Jew Ranger. Like, like it's fucking... Rita was on point. Like, I think this is some of the best Rita stuff. This is some of the best Zed stuff. The best Goldar stuff. Um, I love that Gold were also there. <laughs> Goldar spends the whole trilogy conspiring to murder his ex-boss. Well, technically, he was I, always Lord Zed's boss. Yeah. I it's love just Lord yeah. Zed sent him to go help Rita. Yeah. Oh. I just love the fucking jokes, like the I pronounce you like um uh, husband or like fiend and wife, I mean husband and wife, or the you know, like uh like did they would just like swap out words with evil or yeah. terror, like it was just like the the dialogue was just so cheesy, but the delivery of uh Robert Axelrod and I forget the name of the woman who plays Rita's voice. The voice they yeah. just were so committed to the dialogue. Like, oh, yeah. These are actors who are, are saying the weirdest fucking shit, but they're just like giving it a hundred and ten percent. Absolutely, because they were the biggest kid show at the time. So yeah. Well, the thing is, again, to Robert Axelrod, who I've met, he loved the character so much. Like he played Finster for a whole season. And this was him getting to really, like, you know, shake, you know, like, show his talents. So he was so committed to it. I love that Rita makes a comment as she's about to poison Zed with the love potion. Imag imagine waking up next to that. Cue that the, happens, yeah. Cue the shot from the Turbo movie. If I knew how to defeat the Power Rangers, you think I'd be listening to this. 
I like the fact that she stayed married, though. It's like, well, we failed, but I, you know, I've made my they bed. They may be evil, but it's a good marriage. I've made my bed. I'm going to sleep next to it T- now. <laughs> Till Z wave to them part, and they didn't after that. No, well, they didn't. Yeah. Even when the Z wave happened, they still they, they were still together. <laughs> yep. But I mean, like, I don't. Uh, but it Robert Axel, yeah, he he loved. I'm going to tell. I got my other Robert Axelrod story. I'm going to tell him really quick. Um. So at Qu- Quinty Mini Con. Uh, myself and the two other guests and Robert Axelrod were told by the convention that we could go through the dealer's room, pick something we wanted of a reasonable price, and they would buy it for us to thank us for coming to the con. I picked a really nice wall scroll. Somebody else picked, like, a, a thing. And Robert Axelrod, he kind of went around, you know, they took him around, because he, he, he's not really a nerdy guy, right? So he doesn't see anything. And then they're like, oh, and, and then he sees across from, like, the little, the gym that the convention's in is, like, a sports apparel shop for the, like, the hockey team that's in Quinty. <laughs> and he goes, I want to go in there. So they bought him, like, a fucking, like, like a jacket and a hat for the local sports team. <laughs> and he comes out wearing this, like, Letterman jacket and, and, and a fucking cap that says, like, Quinty whatever hockey whatever and he was like stoked he was so happy wow and we're and the thing is like i remember like the person who was a con uh gab just looks at her and goes like well that works <laughs> all right but that was that was a funny robert actual one he's apparently really into local hockey yeah all right <laughs> well, uh, um but yeah like and then the Power Rangers, they were in, like, their suits the whole time because the actors were busy doing the movie, so... The, the plot of the Rangers in this trilogy boils down to six typical average teens inside a haunted mansion! <laughs> Just by chance fought some monsters and got out the same way twice. <laughs> yep. And the thing is, like, the here's the twice. thing, okay? You know how I said it was stupid that the Ryu soldiers forgot they could use Cosmo Raptor with the other Zord? They're like, wait, we can't summon our weapons! Tommy... What's that on your hip? Saba's right there, you stupid asshole! Rangers, <laughs> just, what's that in your fucking holsters? No, just, Blade Blasters! Just, just Saba, am I a joke to you? <laughs> yeah. Why is Saba so And at no point, and the thing is, like, he's, he's like, flipping around, like, and, like, the fucking sword at one point hits one of the monsters saying, from the yeah, thing, and I'm like, this, your general. sword is there! It's, I don't care if you can't use its power. Right it's there! In the, oh my god! <laughs> It's not blue enough, I think. Could be better. We're That's good, way. though. We're, all, we're all, We can Instagram I can, filter that. I can filter that. All right, who did that? Uh, that Lazy. was... Lazy Coon. Lazy Coon. All right, Blaze, pick a rider to be the uh, rider girl next week. Rider Tan. Tajadol. Rider Tan. Rider Tan. <laughs> um... So but I'll show you all later. I can't not. I can't not look at Alpha that. Alpha being a disrespectful little shit the entire trilogy was probably the most sort of, entertaining. Sort of thing. just like, oh, he was, I do not like that. I do not like that. Alpha Five. I just think he's throwing so much shade. Like, oh, it sounds so quiet here without those babbling teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they're fighting more monsters. No, 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 just mm. Alpha, are you okay? Yeah. Why you ask? But, but the evil corrupted desk. Oh yeah, I rewrote that like as soon as I got it. <laughs> yeah. I just realized, I think wait, he was do the this the entire time. I think that Alpha was enjoying being evil right? too much. They didn't want oh, to. Oh, I like, oh, I just put that in so we get uh, all of his passwords. I didn't yeah. think he'd actually turn evil. That was supposed to turn him off. Yeah, it just I, apparently I made him that honest. Was supposed to turn him on. <laughs> You're just, quite good just, at turning me on. <laughs> This Maybe. alpha was just being honest the entire time. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, it's like you mean you didn't turn evil? No, Rangers, I'm just sick of your shit. <laughs> Get out. He upgraded to Windows 8, and he was Alpha 8. Yo, yo, yo. The shitty get the one. Get before I blow Cap and your... Oh, I love that. Zordon has been on the internet for five years. I needed to use the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's my well, nice I'm not that misses me. Wow. What is even happening right now? Alpha's becoming a Jewish mother. And, I mean, didn't, and, and they didn't even invite me to their wedding on the moon. Um, but I will say, like, it, it was cute. Um, and yeah, I'll I'll admit what Tom said is true. Like, Robert Axelrod did sound like he was having like the time of his life doing this role. Oh yeah, I, the thing so. is, you know what? To de- defend Gar, hashtag Gar did nothing wrong <laughs> this week. He did not. Um, this week. Is Gar picked the best the the best Robert Axelrod episodes? Not the best Lord Zed episodes. True. Sure. I'll, give, go. I'll give you that. Uh, uh, th- to be honest, I picked these episodes for two reasons. There one, go. there we go. Uh, you like number one. You see Robert do both 
Lord Zed and Finster. Yeah, and Finster actually has dialogue. Yeah. Yep. And two being and the mysterious disappearing blue bandana. Yes. Yes. In in the original footage, he does not have his blue band blue blanket. His blue blanket. <laughs> yes, yeah, blue blanket. But then in the Sentai footage, he clearly has it back That's on. Two producers jokes we but, made yeah. tonight. <laughs> Um, yeah, why yeah. are there so many producers? Yeah, Robert and Finster are in, or Zed and Finster are in the same episodes. <laughs> and just, you know, it, it kind of ties it back to an older episode that we did of Cast Ranger where we talked about the movie. And it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that so <laughs> well. <laughs> you you did notice the, the, the space Jewish wedding. Yes. Yep. The, you had it backwards, though, I think. Because Zed was really much about how the Christian wedding was going. <laughs> yeah. And Rita's the one that's like, uh, I do, I guess. You know, like yeah. she's... And I love that like, they play the fucking wedding march. <laughs> Zed turns to the monster, like teleports an organ in and sets one of the monsters in. I hope you can fucking at least play the wedding march. No, but if you hum a few bars, I can fake it. <laughs> no, he says wing it. No, he says no, fake it. No, does he say fake he it? He says he fake, it. fake okay. it. No, so... No, it's the mo- uh, Pexter. Pexter, who sounds like I, fucking Scratch from Sonic Sad I think that that was just <laughs> the 90s bird voice. Yeah. I think like, birds in the night. My strategy is to wing it! And then he unfolds his fucking Lego wings. Should I try to take another crack at it? I will try to take another quack at it. <laughs> is he the ancestor of the Tango Warriors? I, yeah. I mean, I could totally see it. Right? So, anyways. He I, did look like a fucking Skeksis. She, yeah, he. Well, yeah. It's, oh, I love Skeksis. I knew you liked that. Um. <laughs> I, I love that Rita put the ring on Zed's Chandler. pinky. Right? That was so weird. <laughs> like, is a pinky what? evil? You mean like this? <laughs> You've got a skull ring on your pinky. <laughs> just, just, I actually no. have a skull pinky yeah. ring. You have yeah. an evil pinky. Yeah. Meanwhile, no. just, meanwhile, marvelous. Just, uh, just Rita. I feel strange presence. I'm not invited to a wedding. I must go. <laughs> just him with a red foreman voice. Party. I just like, it's like, yeah, it's like, what What did I miss, Rangers? Oh, and Zed and Rita have apparently got married. Oh, well, that's yeah. terrifying. Well, fuck you. That's why we didn't invite you, Zora. Gross. <laughs> no, 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 just Zora. That is terrifying. No, no, no fucking shit! I've been stuck in a time warp for hundreds of years, and I haven't seen anything that gross. <laughs> like, like, they're not even that, like, oh, man, we're in deep trouble. Just, Oh, okay. that's, that sucks. Yeah, it's like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> But yeah, go go check these three episodes out if you want some kind of wacky Power Rangers. They're story. on Netflix. They're on Netflix. And it's and it's funny because the next episode after this was the Return of the Green Ranger two parter. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, He's wearing a green bandana in one of the episodes. It's a hint. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyways, uh, Jika and Radio Sentai Cast Ranger will actually. Voice logger, I swear! Yeah, yeah, we'll actually do voice logger. Right? Uh, can you tear up the words in all caps, I swear, right beside it, please? Voice logger, colon, I swear. Yeah. No. This time well, it's fuck personal. you. This or, time it's... Oh, oh Blaze, Blaze, pick a, pick a common Rider that you want. I don't know if you said it in the chat. Pick a common Rider that you want me to make a, draw a common Rider girl of. A Rider, oh, Tim. Tajadol! Yeah, do Tajadol. Just Tajadol. No, no, they, get, they get to pick. He said sure. Oh, I know sure. I know that Oz Tajador Combo is one of Blaze's favorites. Okay. Yeah, Tatavar or Tajador. Okay, I, I, I see so some kind of O's form. Because I'm going to pick the girl for it um, at a time when I can think of a good joke and somebody would look good. So <laughs> I'll pick the girl, but I'll do it for Tajador. Because the thing is, like, 2B kind of goes with the theme of uh, Zero One because she's a, she's she's a robot. She's a robot. Yeah, yeah and uh, so I'm going to pick something that goes with O's. But anything goes. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. So, thank you all for listening and watching to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. This has been another fabulous episode with our amazing core cast. Oh, yep. yeah. I'm so happy we have five members. I'm happy, too. Yep. <laughs> I updated all the branding on the website, and we have new icons and banners, oh, and it's really? all so wow. shiny. Now one of us is like has to quit to be like to just that's fuck what, it that's you over. I, <laughs> like Lane's like, all right, guys, I'm done. All right, that's my cue. Nice meeting you, man. Nice seeing you. I have waited for this moment. I'll see you next Wednesday for Ultra. Wish you well in all your future endeavors. Yeah, we still got Ultra Ranger until like wherever the fuck we're done. I'll be gone until next Wednesday. And I still I live right there. <laughs> that's, that's my room. I live three doors down. No, Gar, we'll continue doing Ultra Ranger until the hundredth anniversary of Ultraman twenty sixty six. 
Our kids will probably uh, be but doing this I can, do, kids, I can do your both of you to assume there will be kids. Blaze, okay. I'll do your cast That's reform, what you think. but I will do that at a later time. What? Next. Uh, you know what, Blaze? If you can send it to me, like like uh, message me or something on uh, on Discord. Didn't I do a champion model for you, Blaze? Yeah, you, I'm pretty sure yeah. I did. I'm sure you have that somewhere. But I want to do I want to do Chris's one is up next because I drew it and then Chris was like, no, you can't. It can't be like that. So I'm drawing again. I'm like, fuck him. He was drawing it. the super form that I'm not finished with. Yeah, I'm glad that I didn't surprise you with it. Be like, dude, you just yeah, you just outed myself. I would have felt really bad because <laughs> you put all the effort into it. Yeah. But yours is good. I'm pretty much drawing what I know you like. So you're going to have a bow and arrow. And you're yeah. going to wear a lot of blue. Cool. All right. So thank you all for uh, checking us out. If you if you like what you've seen or heard, make sure you follow all of our things. Uh, check out our hub site, castranger.podme.com, where you can find all of our wacky hijinks, including our Facebook page, Twitter account, Patreon, Discord, merch site. Uh, and we publish our show on Google Play, iTunes, oh, and Spotify. What, what about Instagram? Oh, uh, kind of working on that. I need oh, a well, if you don't have an Instagram, you can just follow Taryn Savage Fox. That's my art account. Do or Ever Age Studios. That's my photography account. Uh, Do it. Follow all the things. Yeah, or, that was or, a shameless plug. Or you can follow me on Instagram. I've been posting a new post once a day. Uh, and once a day? What are you, plebeian? Yes. <laughs> uh, and to end this episode, here's Cell's favorite clip of Robert Axelrod. Bye, everybody. I don't get it. Is that a thing we're putting in an edit? Yeah, yeah, we'll put it in. We'll, we'll put it in post.